Hello guys and welcome back. In this section, we are going to talk about template driven forms. So in the last section, we saw that template driven forms are created by Angular when it sees a form tag inside one of our templates. And with the help of the tag that we see, uh, that Angular sees, it also generates an object representation of this form. So say for example, if we wanted to implement a form in our in one of our templates and then use the template driven approach to create that form and its representation, then we'll first have to start with the module and we'll have to add the forms module to the import array like so. That needs to be imported from at angular slash forms. And then we can basically start creating a form. So in this section, we are going to do that. We will be creating a very basic bare bone of an angular form. OK, so let's say, for example, this is the type of structure that we want to create for our form. So in that case, I'm going to first create a component using Angular CLI. So in the components folder, I'll be creating a new user component and this uh, will this will have the template for my form and now in the app routing module i'm going to create a route for loading up this new user component so new hyphen user should be the name of this route and new user component would be the component that gets loaded new user component is something then that i'll have to import from its respective path like so also let's do something like in the header section add a link to the form so new user okay it's already there so let's save it and that's pretty much it i guess that we'll have to do let's now quickly serve up the application and let's wait for it to get served up here's our local host and i've already navigated to the new hyphen user section so once let's wait for it to load Meanwhile, let's go to the template of new user and get rid of the P, uh, of the paragraph tag. And in an H3 tag, I'll name this a new user form. Okay. And now if I go back and try to reload this, then I should see a new user form in here. Now let's wrap this thing inside a div with a class of container so that we have some padding from all sides like so. This looks good now. And now we'll create the form. So for each form control there is inside this form, let's first start with a form tag inside this. We will need a division with a class of form hyphen control. Inside this, we will need a label with an attribute for. And let's first name this as name. Right besides this, we need an input with a class of uh, let's first specify the properties or the attributes that we require in here. I'll just zoom in a bit so that it's properly visible. And now we need this for, let's say, a name of this input. And let's call this name. OK, now this will have a class of form control like so. And uh, we need this whole section for let's see how many times so i'll go back to the data again 
we need it for name username email three four and five we don't really need it for id because id is something that gets generated by the api okay so we need this about five times let's start small and then probably we can add up to that so if i press enter now then it's going to generate five divisions for me now initially i don't really need an action for this form so i'll get rid of that and now let's uh, wrap this properly so i'll select this particular area here and i'll press ctrl d to select all of them and then i'll go to this section i'll press enter we are indenting this markup now so that it's a bit more readable like so and i guess this should be all now below this let's create a horizontal rule and in a pre tag we are going to print something at a later stage let's also have another horizontal rule and let's create a button with a class of button and button primary and let's name this submit now the in the, the type of this is going to be submit all right let's save this and now let's name these fields appropriately so for the first one we had name let's say for this one i need a username for this one i need an email for this one a phone number and a website so these two are for that all right so this for phone and this for the website like so now i will also need to type in the field labels for this so this is for name this is for user name this is going to be for email this for the phone and this one for website like so now we are done with the markup so if i go back i should see some markup here but this markup oh so i got the issue here the form class that needs to be added here is not the form control but it's going to be form okay this needs to be form group and not form control my bad so let's just copy this one and press control d to select all of them at once and then i'll just change this from from form control to form group like so so now if i save this i should see a proper form rendered over here all right so far so good now let's inspect this form and inside this div we should have a form tag now if you notice this form some of the classes have been added to this form like ng untouched ng pristine and ng valid and now looking at these uh, the names of these classes i can be assured that these classes are something that have been added by angular and not me okay we can see that in here as well right we don't really have add, we didn't really add a class here but then angular added a class for us automatically okay but then in case of uh, these form controls i don't really have any such form classes that have been added for none of these have been the classes added right so let's figure out in the next session how exactly can we add these classes to these form controls as well so i'll see you guys in the next video bye